All this snow is good news for upcoming cross-country ski events. As Eric Nelson reports now, there is plenty going on in the next couple of weeks at Theodore Wirth Park. Elon Nosman from Norway. This event ends Friday night with the closing ceremony. Then starting Saturday, the Lopen event starts with the classic events. Golden Valley will be a skiing mecca for the next couple weeks. I love Minnesota. Fun in the snow started on Friday as the Masters World Cup races are being staged at Theodore Worth Park. We come from Sweden. This is truly a global event. We've had over 800 athletes uh, from uh, US, Canada and 32 other countries come for the uh, week-long events. From Brazil, <laughs> Slovakia, Czech Republic, you know, and the usual suspects from France and England and uh, the North and Scandinavian countries. A lot of Finns here. The U.S. has not hosted a Masters World Cup in 12 years. And the skiers range in age from 30 to 90. A great uh, gathering of, of cross-country skiers from uh, all around the world. Today's snowy weather made things tricky for skiers on the course. It, underneath is uh, artificial snow. So you got a natural snow on top of artificial snow. It really is a tough challenge for ski legs. But all in all, the snowflakes are definitely a welcome sight for skiers and race officials. Perfect uh, conditions here. This is going to really help us out uh, for the next couple of days. The snowy scene did not stop 80-year-old Pat Cole. She finished her race with ease. Some people ski until they're out of breath. I just, I'm out there having a good time. Age is just a number for Cole. She refuses to slow down and give in to Father Time. Just keep moving whatever way you can do it. <laughs> if you need, you know, we got canes on both sides of us. <laughs> Hold us up. <laughs> in Golden Valley, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News. A number of skiing events will go on at Theodore Worth through Super Bowl Sunday and what is being called the Lopet Urban Cross Country Ski Festival.